Hi everyone, this video is about the new Rock Front and Grow feature and how you can use it to create stunning web designs with fluid font sizes. But not only that, um, you can also use it for paddings, margins, borders, and almost anything. It has totally changed the way how I develop my front end designs and it is extremely easy to use. It is a CSS only solution, so you don't need any external tools. If that sounds interesting, this video is for you. Okay, so this is what you will get um, when using the Rock Frontend Grow feature. Here I'm building a new website, my personal uh, website. And if I resize this window, you see that it feels very natural and it uh, grows um, according to the to the viewport width and everything like just adjusts and, and looks very, very natural and very nice. Um, if you don't believe me, then I can show you how that looks like if we turn the grow feature off. And once we save that, we get a design that works with regular uh, breakpoints and with static font sizes and static paddings and margins. And now you see the difference. It just really does not look as good as uh, it looks with the, um, with the grow feature. So if we turn that on again, we get the reload and we get back the nice design. So you see um, uh, everything adjusts just while I'm resizing the browser window. Um, so how does it work? As you have already seen, you simply have to add the RF grow um, function instead of applying aesthetic padding like 20 pixels. Um, also another nice feature of Rock Frontend and the post CSS feature that is uh, necessary for the RF Grow feature to work is that you can simply um, write down pixel RAM units and it will calculate the RAM units. So in this case it would uh, convert 20 pixels to RAM units for you and it does the same here and it does the same uh, also here. So usually you just write padding top 20 pixels and then you might uh, add another media query here and then another one for uh, large uh, large screens with rock front ends grow feature you don't have to do that anymore you simply uh, write rf grow and then you define the minimum padding which is zero pixel rem and then you define the maximum which is 30 pixel rem or maybe let's do 100 pixel rem and you save it and you get the result and you get the nice padding that grows with the viewport. So I think that is really, really awesome. Um, I'm using it all over since I, I have that, uh, that feature and it's just regular uh, CSS and some math. If you are interested in how that actually works behind the scenes and, and why I chose this, uh, this solution, you can um, go and visit the, the process wire forum and read the, the thread that I started in uh, some, some weeks ago. And there I was asking how others uh, use font sizes and how, how they make font sizes and paddings, margins and all that uh, responsive. And I get I got uh, several uh, very helpful answers, but none of them really felt like it was the way I wanted it to work. So for example, um, here uh, Stefan showed how he is doing it and he's using these uh, SAS mixins. But as he says himself, for big prominent title headlines, I often use viewport width um, that makes the font size fluid, but can give some weird in-between values. And yeah, and then you also have to apply uh, custom breakpoints and all that, and that's really just tedious in my opinion. Um, so it's nothing bad of, um, with this solution. Of course, it's just I'm I'm too lazy for that, and I wanted to de define a minimum and a maximum, and it should adapt uh, in between like perfectly, just without worrying about how it does. And we had this post by Rick and he showed another technique. 
also the post by Diogo was um, similar and they suggested to use the calc uh, or the clamp CSS method and actually the clamp method is what uh, rock front and scroll feature is using behind the scenes but it's just a little bit more uh, complex because the suggestion here is to define a minimum value that's uh, 15 pixels and a maximum that's 20 pixels and to define uh, some function that calculates all the uh, the font sizes in between and that uses the viewport width um, as, as a scale factor. But the problem here is that you don't really know when your design will have this 15 pixels or when it will have this 20 pixels. So you can't uh, easily define a minimum and a maximum value for an exact viewport width that uh, you want to define. So and for, for me, that was just really a big problem because usually I get uh, a web design from a um, from designer and there I have a mobile version of the design and then I have a desktop version. And in the mobile version, I have a font size of, let's say, 20 pixels. And in the desktop version, I have a font size of 30 pixels. And if you want that and you want to write that uh, CSS clamp function, function on your own, then it's really not easy to do because you have to know this grow factor and then maybe you have to try and fiddle it to, to, to work like you planned. But that's, that was not the solution that I liked. And then my first, first solution was based on uh, JavaScript. I showed that in the forum. Um, it's maybe here, I don't know. Yeah, I showed that here. That used um, a combination, like uh, it used CSS variables and the, the grow factor was uh, done by JavaScript and injected into the root element. Uh, that was already nice and working really nicely, but having to rely on JavaScript for that is of course mm, not the best or not the most beautiful solution. So I rewrote everything and then um, I just used some, some maths and you can have a look at how it is done in Rock Frontend, in the Rock Frontend module. You can see it's um, doing that very similarly. It's uh, using the, the clamp with the minimum, then with the grow function, and then with the maximum. And the grow function is like a little bit uh, complicated, but we don't have to worry about that because Rock Frontend uh, writes this uh, function for us and we don't have to care. So if you want to use that feature on your website, all you have to do is to uh, install Rock Frontend, of course. Then you go to the module settings and you go to module site uh, rock frontend and then you will get the features here and you simply have to enable the post css feature the post css feature takes your um, css files and um, if it if it finds either a pixel ram unit like here or an rf grow method like here then um, it replaces that by the by the correct CSS syntax. And once you enabled the post CSS feature, uh, all you need to do is to add the uh, less file or the CSS file to your rock frontend styles, and rock frontend will automatically uh, add them on page render in the page head. So that's all for today. I'm Bernhard and I'm doing process via development and consulting. I hope you liked the video and if you did, then I'm happy if you hit the like button. Also, if you want to get notified about uh, future videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And as always, if you have questions, let me know in the comments below or in the process via forum. See you there and happy coding.